Hi everyone, it's Thea with Gingham and Glue. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and sticking around. Um, as you can see, I have a huge pile on my desk. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you what I managed to get for, oh my gosh, super cheap at my local antique secondhand store today. I was so excited. I had to share it with you. Um, just about everything on this table was a dollar. Um, and I got some really, really cool stuff. So I wanted to show you. And then um, I'm also going to show you what I've been working on, uh, what I just finished up actually. Um, I also wanted to show you what I got from... Um, from Etsy, uh, really excited about that too, as well as a Facebook per, uh, Marketplace purchase that I got. Um, I was also really excited about because I'd been wanting one for quite some time. Um, <clears throat> but without further ado, so I got this amazing pink lace, um, just absolutely gorgeous. It's elastic, but that does not matter to me because I know I'll still be able to use it. Um, I could very easily bunch it up and ruffle it or, you know, even straight across works fine too. So yeah, a dollar, super, super pretty, love it. Um, got this really fun doily, pineapple doily, um, also a dollar, amazing, love that. Um, I got a dishcloth, just a cotton dishcloth, which, um, uh, very easily mimics cheesecloth and, um, I thought this would be great for doing clusters or you could even um, uh, do like a slow stitch with it uh, on top with some other fabrics and doilies and things like that. Uh, $1.50, awesome. Um, got these amazing um, table runner applique type. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Love them. Um, Definitely, these would be awesome on the front of a journal. Um, just really, really cool. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have a digi kit that would go amazingly with this. So awesome. A dollar. Love it. Um, I got this one, which is similar, just different colors. So, so pretty. Love it. Again, this would be amazing on the front of a journal cover. And I have several digi kits that this would go with. I absolutely love it. Um, again, a dollar. Found some awesome toile. Uh, this one was actually the most expensive purchase out of the whole lot. This was only three dollars. Came wrapped with some awesome black ribbon lace um, snippet. So yeah, I had been looking for some toile for quite some time. Um, and this is fantastic. A curtain slash upholstery fabric. It's backed with some black fabric, um, which can easily be pulled apart. So you could do the toile on the front and the black on the inside for a journal. So, so pretty. I love toile. I've always loved toile. I've been looking for some red toile that I don't have to spend an arm and a leg on, but that's for another time. Um, Got this awesome green lace uh, table runner and yeah loving this absolutely love it this was oh I'm sorry this was three dollars um but I was willing to I was willing to spend that because this is going to be awesome for all my Christmas projects so really cool then I got this awesome it's like a um not really a sear, it's almost seersucker like, but um, plaid Christmas material. Love this. It, this is going to be perfect for snipping and making into clusters or a journal cover, you know, I, I mean, just all kinds of different ways to use that. Then I got a tree skirt. I had to get this just for the fabric. This is absolutely gorgeous. The roses in it are kind of like a pink color almost. Um, has a little bit of red in it and then of course all the gold and green and there's some orange in here and yeah. I 
when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, this would be amazing under my tree. And then I realized, yeah, but it won't match at all because my colors are red, green, and gold for the most part at Christmas time. And so, yeah, that probably wouldn't go. But the fabric itself is going to be perfect. So I'll be able to cut that up and use that for a lot. Not just Christmas stuff, but even shabby chic, you know, journal covers or, you know, whatever. So awesome. Then I got some um, lace appliques. There are, there's one on the front and then there's one, two, three pinned to the back. So I got three of those, which are awesome. And then I got just one of this real pretty blue lace applique, which I thought was really pretty. So I snagged one of those. Then I got these really fun, these are for uh, bridal pieces, um, but these will be fantastic for, um, you know, decorating journal covers with different flowers and things like that. So I thought that was awesome. Um, I got some awesome rickrack. I actually got three of them. Uh, two of the same and one slightly different. This one is kind of more of a muted pink. Uh, the other one is a really pretty um, pale but brighter pink. It's so pretty. Love that. These were 45 cents each. I mean, or 50 cents each. Love them. Then I got some Christmas cards. Couldn't beat that. These were both a dollar. This is actually a picture frame um, a photo card, which oh, I can think of a thousand different ways you could use these. Um, let me, you could turn easily turn this into a, um, a pocket, maybe put some cellophane on the front, um, and do, yeah, definitely, you know, uh, it just, it's awesome, you know, take off the back or you know, making, you could hang it over a page, you know, that kind of thing. Um, let's see, that's another Christmas card. Loved the wreath. Got some Christmas ribbon. This one's a velvet and this one's a plaid. So those were awesome. I got another piece of material. Uh, this is a, <clears throat> obviously a kind of a, a red, it's got red and green and you know, beige plaids in it. I thought that would be perfect for a journal cover. So got that. Then I got a um, big cardboard chipboard ornament of Santa. Um, that would be fantastic on the front of a Christmas journal. So I snagged one of those. They actually had quite a few of these, but I decided to just get one. Um, yeah, I thought one would one would do it. So. And then I got the cutest children's book. One of the cutest books I've ever seen. It's Pudgy the Little Bear. It is just has the cutest illustrations. And so eventually I'm going to make a, um, a journal that's, you know, children based, you know, with all sorts of children's book pages and things like that in it. And I thought this would be perfect. It's so adorable. I just love the illustrations in it. So yeah, that was $1.25. Um, but just absolutely, absolutely adorable. Love it, love it. So yeah, so that is my haul from, the, from that place. Um, it's this fantastic place, it's huge, it's two stories, it's um, here locally, and it takes forever to walk through it. I, I could only get through half the store today. Uh, normally I can do the whole one, but I just couldn't do the whole one today. So then um, I got from uh, Cali, uh, Cali Quilt Company uh, off of Etsy some Christmas fabrics. I got this fantastic plaid flannel. Um, which is just really fun. It's this velvety flannel. It's just so neat. I love this. This will be great for a smaller journal cover. Um, so yeah, then 
I got this one, which will make fantastic uh, belly bands and, you know, snippets and all kinds of things. I just thought that was really, really cute. Um, lots, lots to be able to do with that. So um, then I got this one, which will also make really great um, thick belly bands um, or, you know, you could put it on the front of a journal cover, um, but it's so pretty and it's got this beautiful, I don't know if you can see that or not, this beautiful silver um, metallic print through it. It's so pretty. I just loved it. I love the poinsettias and the, and the birds, the cardinals and the chickadee. So pretty. And then I got this one, which is more of a more of a plaid, um, <clears throat> excuse me, obviously, and this has got some some gold through it. Uh, so I thought that would make a great journal cover as well. So yeah, so that is that. And then from um, Facebook Marketplace, I got a cutting template for paper doilies. So I'd been wanting this for quite some time. I would love to get a bigger one, but the small one is is perfect right now for what I've been working on. So this will be really fun to play with. Okay, so I will show you what I just finished. And I'm gonna be doing a tutorial, uh, not in this video, but in a second video. I took a packaging envelope and I'll show you just a second. Sorry, I had to grab that ahead of time. So I just use a, just a regular manila packaging um, or document envelope, I guess is what you'd call it. This is, I think this is not, or uh, yeah, 12 inches by nine inches. And that's what I thought it was. Or um <clears throat> sorry uh, my ruler isn't long enough 30 one two three so maybe 34 centimeters i think around about there by 23 centimeters so um i'm not sure what everyone has over in um in europe um but yeah if you can find something similar to this so I did, uh, I turned it into a trifold. Um, I made a couple of little um, dangles here, some little, some little beads, and did some stickers on the front, put a little uh, star grommet in there, and then ran some seam binding and ribbon through that. Uh, inked up all the outside. I cut my my rectangular pieces, giving just a little bit of edge around the outside of each. So let me open this up. This was really fun and easy to make. So then you open it up and you've got a belly band here with a couple of tags, uh, some really fun stickers. Then you've got this, which is actually a, a two-tiered two pocket with a bunch of tags. Um, I made I made a little bit of a, a mistake on this when I was gluing it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I glued it wrong. Actually, I made this piece too short, and then it only comes to about here. Um, instead of keeping this the same length as this, I don't know what I was thinking, but um, so this is actually a fairly short pocket. So in my next one, this will be this will be a full pocket. Um, and then we've got some back here. I just decorated those in the front. And then I've got a long pocket here with a really fun tag. And I used, the paper I used uh, to decorate this is from a um, paper pack from Michaels. Um, was it Michaels? Yes, it was Michaels. Um, I know all of you don't have Michaels, but yeah, you can use, well, and you can use anything. You could even use a, a digi kit. I did turn this into a pocket right here and then put one of my cute little altered, um, envelopes with the cute little collar and then put some, some fun little, 
fun little tags in there. So I thought that was, I thought that was a perfect little fit. You could easily put um, a long uh, tag in here with a tab, but because of how I did this one, this folds over first and then this. So if you've got a tag sticking out, it's not really gonna work. Um, but you know, you could alter it however you want. Um, but yeah, and just inked everything and, and that was it. It was so quick and easy and really, really fun. So yes, in my next video, we're going to work on another one of these and I'll show you how I did it. I'm sure there are plenty of other tutorials out there that do something similar, if not the exact same thing, but you know, just my take on it. So um, I hope you'll be back for that video and thank you so much for sticking around and, and uh, going through my, my haul today with me. Um, I hope everyone is uh, healthy and doing well and um, I will see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.